Nais kong maging bahagi ng isang adhikain At mag-iisa sa gawaing makadyosa't masaya Paglilingkod sa Diyos at kapwa Sa ikalawang parokya ng Pasay Kaisa ng Birheng Maria Our Lady of Sorrows Taranga Viva Pater Dolorosa Virgo de la Pieta Viva Pater Dolorosa De la Pieta Ora pro nobis Sa OLS Ituloy ang saya Sa hirap man at pandemia Pagpapanat kaya ay makakamtan Kapit lang sa Diyos ng lubusan Ama sa pagpapala mong lubos Sa krus ni Kristo Jesus na iyong anak kami tinubos Sa patubay ng Espiritu Banal sa aming buhay At kahit ng Maria ang bagong eba na Let us include in our prayers the following intentions. Dominador Guzman Sr., Nancy Tan and family, Felix Yambao and family, Father Joel Baguna, SSP, Marisa Aboiti, Melinda Gao, Don Pin Corporation, Rosita Dizon, Columbian Resources Corporation, Father Resti de la Peña, SSP, Maximo Parcon, Pax Dizer, Chef Rocky's Kitchen, Edgar Dimasangal and family, Arnel Villarta and family, Gilbert Buenaventura and family, Nelo Lagarto and family, Henry Abanico and family, Estrelita Aquino, Army Codilla, Drew Kendall Codilla, CFC Music Ministry, Dennis Marcelino and family, Ramil Sunga and family, Merli Dawal, Dawal Family, Ortega Family, Santiago Family, Ramirez Family, Advincula Family, Buhay Family, Maria Samantha Ramirez, 
Geraldo Dawal, Henner Dawal, Gabriel Dawal, Antero Ortega, and Maria Fe Ortega. Herino Dawal and Carmencita Dawal, Cynthia Dawal, Maria Elsha Dawal Santiago, Father Russell Ocampo, Margarita Balitos, Amante Garcia, for all victims of calamities, for all frontliners and healthcare workers. Birthday Thanksgiving of Neil Tupas. Eternal repose for the souls of the following. Carmelita Guzman, Medina Tapang, Ricardo Jr., Ricardo Sr., Milagros Magbanwa, Rosalina Mag Marquez, Rogelio Dizer, Rosemary Villegas, Sister Rose Zabala, Gloria Zabala, Pilar Zabala, Marisa Basit, Pacifico Natividad, Francis Amora, Orling Zabala, Benedict Zabala, Cesario Zabala, Chit Zabala, Emilia Aldana, Justin Daniel Bataclan, Remiel Connell, Father Joseph Butlik at CJ, Angelica Obasa, Ninfa Lamsen, Nanette Tan, Pelayo Lagarto, Romulo Vizda, Angeles Macaraeg, Alfredo Macaraeg, Catalina Macaraeg, Lucio Suiza, Andres Castaneda, Rosario Castaneda, Jeronimo Dowell Jr., Jeronimo Dowell Sr., Lourdes Dawal, Juanito Dawal, Felipe Dawal, Anastasia Dawal, Juana Arellano, Pedro Arellano, Elisa Arellano, Jose Malvesino, Joven Arellano, Joven Bolipol, Musling Malvesino, Christian Hiro Yoshokya, Rebecca Gustilio, Rafael Santiago Sr., Ernesto Santiago, Rudy Santiago, Bernardita Castro, Bernardita Dawal, Cesar Dawal, Quintin Ramirez, Milagros Ramirez, Lorenza Malvesino, Marisa Andres, Elvira Duque, Ferdinand Arellano, Leopoldo Angeles Sr., Judy Angeles, Jeanette Angeles, Alvin Angeles, Helen Bolibol, Rodolfo Sanico, Benson Dionella, Benji Sanico, Erlinda Soto, Melanie Sanico, Elias Soto, Juanito Flores Sr., Juanito Flores Jr., Gloria Elvina, Julieta Lumangi, Nympha Bonifacio, Lily de la Cruz, Epifanio Humalon, Rachel Humalon, Demesana Yanko, Rowell Humalon, Richard Bacolod, Paulina Teofisto, Pelimon Angeles, Felix Marinas, Teodora Marinas, Leonardo Sumagaysay, Diego Modiquillo Jr., Corazon Sumagaysay, Lalia Modiquillo, Diego Modiquillo, Lisa Verdida, Nelson Modiquillo, Enelita Com Combine, Vivian Modiquillo, Reynaldo Pimentel, Antonio Advincula, Basilia Montejo, Soul of All Unborn Children, for the lost, forgotten, and abandoned souls in purgatory, all who died of COVID-19, and all souls in purgatory. Magandang hapon po mga kasambuhay, mga kaparokya. Ialay po natin mula sa main altar ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, Pasay City, ang Santa Misa para sa iba't ibang intentions ng mga parokyano, deboto at benefactors ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Ang Misa ay iaalay ng mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Sa oras na ito, Ang mass presider ay si Reverend Father Jobin Joseph. Tayo po ay makiisa at ibigay ang sandaling ito kay Jesus sa banal na Eucharistia. Ay, so 
Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Father Jobin. Friends, during this Mass, we specially invite these little children who are looking so glorious, handsome, and beautiful. We pray for them that they all may grow after the models of saints in their life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Amen. 
Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading, a reading from the Book of Wisdom. Before the Lord, the whole universe is as a grain from a balance, or a drop of morning dew come down upon the earth. But you have mercy on all, because you can do all things, and you overlook people's sins that they may repent. For you love all things that are, and lost nothing that you have made. For what you hated, you would not have passion. And how could a thing remain unless you willed it or be preserved, had not it been called forth by you? But you spare all things because they are yours, O Lord and lover of souls. For your imperishable spirit is in all things. Therefore, you rebuke offenders little by little, warn them and remind them of the sins they are committing, that they may abandon their wickedness and believe in you, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will bless, praise your name forever and ever. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith, that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him, in accord with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your minds suddenly or to be alarmed either by a spirit 
or by an oral statement, or by a letter allegedly from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give it to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, in the Gospel of today, we have the story of Zacchaeus, a chief tax collector, his conversion and change of mind and attitude. The story tells about the transformation that we can go through in our Christian living, provided if we allow Jesus to break into our life, as Zacchaeus did in his life. He allowed Jesus to break into his life. Thereby, he experienced transformation and conversion. Gospel tells very clearly, he came from Jericho, a wealthy city, a fertile, and rich people used to live there. But biblically, Jericho also means a place of sin. A place of sin. Sinful city. And gospel begins saying, Jesus passes through the town of Jericho. Jesus go through this town to heal it to heal the town and gain the people back to Jesus. Look at the story of the Good Samaritan. The story says, man went down from 
Jerusalem to Jericho. Jerusalem, the city of heaven. Jericho, a place of sin. It would mean man was falling from the presence of God to a sinful place. This is what happens when we begin to travel or when we begin to place ourselves in the city of Jerusalem, sorry, in the city of Jericho, where sin controls everyone's life. Friends, Sakevus knew that he was short in stature. He was short in stature, so also short of his values. Even though his name suggests the meaning of his name is righteous one, he was not living up to the meaning of his name. He was far short of what his name truly indicated. Instead of being righteous one, people considered him sinful and notorious because he was walking through Jericho. But the beautiful thing that we see in today's gospel, he climbs on the tree to see the Lord and as a result, he is seen by the Lord. He wanted to see God, but in the process, he was seen by the Lord and called by his name. Zacchaeus, come down. I must stay in your house. Friends, when we begin to travel through Jericho, Jesus comes to our life every time, every moment, inviting us, come down, come back to my presence and I want to stay at your home. I want to be with you. I want to dwell in your house. But unfortunately, often we do not listen his invitation. Often, we do not listen his invitation. Look at the response of Zacchaeus. Just like a child, he responds immediately. We know when people asked, disciples asked, who will enter into the kingdom of God? Jesus told. He called a child and told them, if you want to enter into the kingdom of God, you must become like little children. Look at the attitude of Zacchaeus. He became like a child in order to see God. First of all, we can see in him humility. When he wanted to see Jesus, he did not think about his status in the society. He ran ahead like a little child, climb on the tree, climb up, climbing up immediately. The humility which we can truly practice in our lives to meet and encounter Jesus. The second quality that we see in him, the simplicity. He did not think about what people would say when they see him climbing on the tree. He was least bothered about people's opinion. So also we should become least worried about what people say. When we come close to Jesus, when we come into his presence, look at his response, the third quality that we can really imitate, joyfulness. He was so happy so joyful to meet the Lord. And finally, his response was so fast, like little children. He did not wait like an adult man. Lord, wait. Let me think for some time. If I listen to your invitation, let me calculate and see 
what am i going to gain what am i going to lose he did not make such a kind of calculation instead like little children his response was immediate lord i am ready to give away whatever i have extorted whatever i have extorted i am ready to give away when we allow jesus to break into our life this will be the transformation that we will go through we will be ready to give away all those negative energies that is in our life and we will be able to welcome positivity we see little children sitting in front of us wearing different colors and representing different saints in our life in them we see the quality of simplicity humility joyfulness and readiness may jesus the divine master inspire each one of us to imbibe imbibe this qualities of simplicity humility joyfulness and readiness that like sakeus we may be able to listen to his invitation and be able to undergo transformation and conversion and may god bless each one of us Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Sa hapong ito ay kilalanin natin ang mga banal. Sila ang mga santo at santa na pinaparangalan natin tuwing November 1, Feast of All Saints. Sino nga ba ang mga saints o ang mga banal? Saints means all those in the state of sanctifying grace. Sila ngayon ay nagsasaya sapagkat sila ay nasa piling na ng Diyos. Ang mga santo at santa ang tumutulong din sa atin ngayon upang paglingkuran natin ang Diyos at iligtas ang ating kaluluwa. Sila ang ating mga kaibigan sa langit at nais nila na makasama nila tayo. Kaya tularan natin ang mga santo at santa at pagsikapan natin kilalanin, mahalin, at paglingkuran ang Diyos upang tayo rin ay makapasok sa Kanyang kaharian sa langit. Ngayon po ay isa-isa natin kikilalanin ang mga paborito nating santo at santa. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus and Queen of All Saints. Angel Angels are messengers that bring messages from God to humans on earth or to other angels. Saint Paul the Apostle, patron saint of communication, writers and publishers. Propeta Elias, a faithful prophet in the time of adversity. Saint Padre Pio, patron saint of healing. Saint Cecilia, patron saint of musician. Saint John Paul II, patron saint of labor.
Saint Joseph, patron saint of Happy Death and Universal Church. Saint Anthony de Padua, patron saint of the poor. Saint Jude, patron of desperate cases. Saint Philomena, patron saint of babies. Saint Jacinta Marto, patron saint of sick people. Saint Therese of Lisieux, patroness of the pouring mission. Saint Rita, patroness of impossible cases. Blessed Carlo Acutis, patron saint of internet. Saint Patrick, patron of patron saint of Ireland. Saint Vincent, Saint Dimpa, patron saint of mentally ill. Saint John the Baptist, patron saint of God, parents, and angel of the desert, and forerunner of Christianity. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, patron saint of Filipino youth, Filipino working overseas, and altar servers. Here are your favorite saints. We will announce the winners after communion. Thank you very much. Please go back to your seat. First, the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, in the name of Jesus who rose victorious from sin and death, we come to you in this time of COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. With humility and faith we pray, Lord, we trust in you. Lord, we trust in you. That Pope Francis, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious will be constant teachers and examples of gospel faith, hope, and love, that they witness the great power of the Divine Spirit, even as they encourage practical and social actions to alleviate the effects of the contagion, we pray. Lord, we trust in you. That medical and scientific researchers, pharmaceuticals, doctors, hospital and healthcare administrators be guided by heartfelt human solidarity and by their conscience in their task to find cures for the infected and ways to stop the transmission of the virus with vaccines and with every possible means available, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you. you that government officials and agencies in charge of general welfare and of peace and order be motivated by true love of all, that they always give disinterested service due to all, especially for the poor who are greatly disadvantaged, we pray. Lord, we trust in you. That the sick and their families find the value of family, family love that supports and heals and the importance of sincere continuing prayer that bears fruit, not just in healing, but in the conversion of hearts and minds, we pray. Lord, we trust in you. That owners of business, goods and services, and economic managers balance their money-making with greater efforts to help their community, we pray. Lord, we trust in you. That health frontliners peace and order frontliners, and other basic service frontliners be sustained in their health, in their family needs, and in their moral and spiritual strength, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you. That the dead find eternal rest, that their grieving families find solace in prayer and in loving and caring for one another, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you. That those who are healthy, may not just be indifferent, but be constant in interceding for all and in sharing their time, talent, and treasure to sustain community and church services, we pray. Lord, we trust in you. In silence, let us pray for our personal and community concerns. And for these intentions, we pray, Lord, we trust in you. Father, we know nothing is impossible with you. In the name of Jesus and through the prayers of Blessed Mother Mary and Saint Joseph, stop this pandemic and dissolve this virus. Lead us to your path of healing, cure, conversion, and holiness. Glorify your name forever and ever. Amen.
friends that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, Remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Ose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to pray. Oh, oh, oh. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Is our strength in 
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will announce the top three winners of the best in costume. Number one, St. Paul the Apostle, Anton Pablo Pio Illustrissimo. Please, Number two, St. Joseph. Joshua Isaac Kahan. Pwede pong pumunta sa harap para ma ibigay yung prize, cash prize, at saka yung certificate. And the third is St. John the Baptist John Lucas Ilagan. Okay. The ten consolation prizes. Saint John Paul II. Saint Anthony de Padua. Saint Cecilia. Saint Jude. Padre Pio.
Saint Patrick. Saint Philomena. Saint Therese of Lisieux. Blessed Virgin Mary, Jill, Kita, and Saint Rita. Palakpakan po natin ang mga nagwagi. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa. At ang iba pa ninyong mga premyo ay kunin nyo po doon mamaya sa labas. Maraming salamat. Announcements. Magkakaroon po tayo ng second collection para sa mga biktima ng Bagyong Paeng. Please be advised that the parish office will be closed on October 31 and November 1, 2022. Office resumes on November 2, 2022. Church renovation. Patuloy po ang mga pagpapagawa sa Dambana. Ngayon ay iaayos naman ang mga tagas sa bubong, ang renovation ng altar, stairway to Mother Dolorosa de la Pieta, at bagong tabernakulo ay mag mayroon pa pong payables na 2 million pesos. Makipag-ugnayan po sa messenger account ourladyofsorrows.parish para sa inyong donations and love offerings. Ang ating Metrobank account our Lady of Sorrows Parish, 291-7-291-822-793. Undas 2022. Tumatanggap na po ang parish office ng mga mass intentions para sa special commemoration ng mga yumao sa buong buwan ng Nobyembre. Makipag-ugnayan sa parish office. Ito ay bukas araw-araw mula 8 a.m. hanggang 4 p.m. Pwede rin po ninyong gamitin ang envelopes para sa pamisa ng mga kaluluwa at ilagay sa box na may cross malapit sa altar. OLSP Religious Store Available na po ang mga copies ng 2023 Simbahay Filipino Bible Diary 2023. 365 Days with the Lord Bible Diary, 2023 Devotional Calendar, at 2023 Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta Wall Calendar. Maraming salamat po. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you, and in His kindness pour out upon you the gift of His blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words, that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so, May you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands made coerced with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Sorrows, F.B. Harrison, Pasay City. Mula sa mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Mula sa Sambuhay TV Unit ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish. Salamat po. God bless you. Mother Dolorosa de la Pieta cares for you. Oh, my God.